Well, hi there, I am Sandy Allnock, and you might know me as somebody who does the human rainbow, and today I'm gonna to do a four-legged rainbow. Yes, four-legged meaning pets. You guys know I love my pets. I love my kitties and my doggies, and look at these leading ladies. They have cats, they have dogs, they have sentiments. Oh my gosh, so much fun, and they each have an arm that's cradling so you can tuck in another animal inside their arms. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's get on from my excitement. And we're going to do one card with both of these stamp sets on them. And it's going to just be overrun with critters. And what I want to challenge you to do is not always do the same cat or the same dog. Make it the four-legged rainbow like our human rainbow. Because there's all different colors of kitties and doggies. And different kinds of spots, different types of colorations on them. You can use warm grays, you can use cool grays, you can use all your browns. There are some cats that even look like they have a little pink or a little blue in them because they just have a little different tinge to them. And if you're stuck for, gee whiz, I don't have a cat, I don't know what a cat looks like, go to Google. Just go to Google. Google's your friend. Google will show you there are all different kinds. The first cat that I drew is a lot like my Punch. Punch has all those grays and stuff on his back and he has one eye covered by a patch. My other kitty is all black and she is all black so I couldn't color with all black so I colored her with a couple of different grays so that you get some dimension in it without having one big black blob and then I just went for some other col colors of kitties that look like other kitties I have had in the past this one is kind of a brown kitty using a little bit of a flush tone to make my transition into white and then here's a white kitty that I'm using a flesh tone for. How fun is that? You can make so many different kinds of kitties. And I stamped out all the sentiments, by the way, so you can see what they all are. They're not all pet oriented, well, they're pet oriented, but you can use them for a card for a human. There are some cards, some stamp sets that they're all for people with pets or people that have just adopted a pet or something. This one is one of those where you can use it for a lot of different stuff. And of course, you'd probably send it to somebody who's a cat fan or a dog fan. In this case, my card is going to be for fans of all four-legged critters because it's going to have all of these on it because it's so fun. So this first doggy, of course, I picked out the one that I thought looked most like my Giallo, my little golden retriever. And using a couple colors to color him in. And then I had to find a Vienna. And even though it's stamped crooked, it looks like the dog is taking a dump right there. Um, that's not the angle the dog actually sits at, <laughs> but she has a little spot by the base of her tail as well as on her ears and her eye. And then I'll use another light gray to add some dimension to it. And you can color these, of course, with any medium you want. I'm using my Copics, but these work with all different kinds of fun things. They'd be fun to do in colored pencil too, because I like with small images that you can get into some details with colored pencils that you might not be able to with some other mediums. And somebody asked me recently, why don't I ever do a brindle dog? So let's do a brindle. It's going to be a black and brown brindle, like one that I saw at the park recently. And it's almost like it's got little teeny tiny stripes. So I'm making little tap marks with a gray marker on top of brown to sort of give it some dimension. And I was looking at the dog when somebody said brindle, I looked at this, this particular dog to follow like, okay, do the, do the lines on the ears go which way? Which way do the lines on the face go? And so this is the way that the dog looked that I saw. And so that little dog is now infamous here on my video. And then I wanted to soften some of those lines out because of course brindles don't look like they have stripes. They're not like tiger stripes or anything. So softening it with a lighter color. And then I wanted to push a little more brown back into it. So I'm going over top of it a little bit with some brown again. And here we have another doggy. It's going to be a white doggy with his little paws up. Giallo does that trick really well, by the way. He's totally my sit up and beg kind of dog. Vienna sort of does it if I have her shake one paw. Then she'll pull the other paw up and she'll sit up, but I have to help her. She won't do that on her own, but Giallo is like, give me a cookie, I'll do anything. Yeah. He's, he's my, my crazy food dog. So there we go. All of those little images are all colored in. And I'm going to zoom through the coloring of the human rainbow portion 
these I'm making look like two of the girls who work at our local um, local vet. So I thought this might be a fun card that I may give to them. I don't know if I'll give it to them or not, but um, they're both very dark skinned African American ladies. So they have some, some deep African heritage, beautiful, beautiful girls. And I say girls, even though they're like in their twenties, don't get offended by me saying that because <laughs> they are, they are wonderful young women. But to me at the age I'm at, everybody is like turning into younger people. Even adult people are seeming like they are younger and younger because I'm getting older and older. I remember when I first realized I was getting old because I was buying a pair of shoes and the guy helping me at the shoe place was no longer like some old man. It used to be some old man that worked at the shoe store. And now the, the people that work at the shoe store I buy my shoes at are like really, really, really young. Like they they seem like they're in junior high sometimes. I know they're not. I know that's terrible of me to say, but it just seems that way because everybody just looks younger and younger. And that day that I noticed, and I was probably in my 30s when I suddenly saw that, that really hit me. Okay, I'm getting older. That happened. Aging comes upon you before you even know it. Yeah. Now those faces I will fix later on. That is not my best coloring on the faces. Uh, notice that I didn't just stop and start all over and throw it out because the focus on this card is totally going to be on those little puppies and kitties anyway. Now there are dies that you can get to go with these and that will cut out the arm so the arm will pull out and you can tuck an animal in it. I didn't want to do that so I'm going to have some special tips on how to do it if you have a flat card like this because I wanted to put both of my veterinary assistants in the picture and use both sets at the same time. So I masked one, I stamped the one on the right first, masked out her arm and the side of her outfit, and then stamped the other one. And that, that means that I'm going to have to do something else. Cause if you, I, I wish there was a die that, or a, a, a trick with a die that you could only die cut the inside of the die. Cause I'd like to inside cut that arm, but you know, that doesn't always happen. There's like no magic science that allows you to take a die and only die cut the inside portion. So I finished my coloring on the outfits and the white gel pen is an awesome, awesome thing. If you decide you didn't like your blending, just do patterns on top of your outfit and you'll be just fine. So here we go with adding the critters to it. The, um, I'm sort of trying to figure out what I want to do with them all. How am I going to pile them all in there and fit everybody in the card? And I'm going to do some animals that are going to come out from behind the people, as well as ones that are, of course, in front. And there's going to be one kitty that's going to go in between the legs. So I'm taking my fingertip knife. This thing is an invaluable tool. If you don't have one, it's a little cheap thing, but it helps to do fancy little kinds of cutting like this. And the surface that I'm cutting on is the is this thing that I got ages ago. I don't even know if you can buy one separately. It came with my little score pal and I use that for for cutting. So you want to have something that you can cut into. I will put some other options because I did see one online that I thought was interesting. I don't have it, but I'll put one down there if you need one. But you can also just use a piece of cardboard or something underneath of it. Just cardboard you can destroy. So I've cut out the top sides of their arms so that I can tuck animals in there. And then I'm going to go down each one of their legs. But you can see how you can tuck the animals in and you may need to do a little bit of adjusting as you go to your cutting and add, you know, cut a little bit deeper or something in a certain area to make it look like the animals are really inside. And then underneath each one, I stuck a little bit of a power tab, just cut off like a third of one to stick it under the kitty or the dog. And then I'm starting to add the other animals and see how this one goes in between the legs and you can make them intertwining with the images. So look how cute the card came out with all those critters on it. I used all the stamps. Well, okay. I didn't put all the stamps that I colored all the little, little toys and things, but I used all the other ones. There's that one kitty in the back. The black kitty is peeking out from behind the legs. And then on the inside, I put the little brindle with the a secondary sentiment in it. Isn't that cute? Didn't that come out fun? I hope you guys enjoyed this and that if you are a dog or cat fan, you might like these leading ladies sets. 
Ellen Hudson does all of these, like I think every month, every month or every two months at least, they come out with these and they're all different themes. And this one seems perfect for me, the dog and cat lover. So I hope you enjoyed this. Go out and do some four-legged rainbow coloring. Make animals of all different types because they don't need to all be the same ones. And I will see you guys next time. Have a really awesome day. Go make something beautiful. Bye-bye.